Today I'm at the Hensridge Airfield Park Run. Let's get to it. So here at the uh, Henstridge Park Run, it's an interesting place, a uh, big old airfield, uh, but it's certainly windy. It uh, looks as if the, the weather's pulling in as well, so I think it's going to get a little wet out there. Got a Terracaiga 5s here with me, so I'm going to head over and sort of suss out the scene and see what's going on. when you're all bunched up at the start. You then go to the first corner, you turn turn right, and you head off down the old taxiway until you get to a, a tape barrier. Around the tape barrier, it's at the moment it's dry down there, so it should be okay underfoot. Then off, off road, up to the speed bumps, round by the river, to the T-junction. First time at the T-junction, please turn left. Come round and do that all again. Second time at the T-junction, please turn right. From that point, please stay on the right so you don't bump into the other runners coming the other way. It is a live airfield. That is a, a live um, runway. Please don't cross it, you get me in trouble. Oh, my chief. <sighs> it's Ed Bordy here. Yeah? yeah, so um, that was good. Um, I enjoyed that race. It's, it's a park run, it's not a race. Ah, a bit of noon, a bit of the old noon to uh, replenish the old salts. Um, time of about 22 minutes 13, something like that. So not the, the fastest that I'm ever gonna run a 5K, but it was on some more challenging sort of, sort of terrain. A uh, little lumpy, a little bumpy here and there. Uh, I saw Kirsty Norman, it's lovely to see her. I haven't seen her for a long time. She's a member of the Oval Road Running Club too. So the airfield is in use. It is used for aviation purposes. Um, I think they do lessons and stuff here so you can learn to pilot a plane if you so wish. So during the race, um, I tried to keep things moderate, really, I've got to be honest, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to exhaust myself, I've got Martok 10k uh, on the Sunday, so I didn't want to push things too hard and do myself any type of injury. Uh, so I kept it a nice moderate pace and you know I ate a lot of food yesterday night as well. And I, I, I drank a lot of drinks yesterday night. So the rain held off pretty much till about the fourth kilometre. Um, I was quite glad of it then actually, it cooled me down a little bit. And I knew I was uh, I knew I was working pretty hard at that point. Yeah, the course is dead easy to follow. You don't have to sort of think about it too much. Um, I'm really well stewarded as well. Um, the volunteers are really great. Uh, very positive as well, kind of helping people around. There was a lady with some pom-poms throwing those around. Uh, it's really, really nice to see that kind of support people out there. You know, these people volunteer to do this in this weather. You know, they stand out there in the cold and the wind, the rain, sleet, snow, whatever. They volunteer and do it. So I think hats off to, you know, all those 
Park Run volunteers out there. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Ed Bud here. Today I was out at the Henstridge Airfield Park Run, took the Terra Kiger 5s with me. The Henstridge Airfield Park Run has mixed terrain of gravel, grass and concrete, so these guys did really well for me today. The lugs on the bottom were just right. Um, I had the best of all three worlds really uh, with these shoes. Uh, they worked out very well. Really comfortable and good time for me today. I came in seventh overall, second in my age category of 40 plus and a time of around 22 minutes 13 seconds. Very easy to get to the park run, ample parking. They've got a cafe there as well so you can fuel up before and after the race. Comes highly recommended for me if you live in the local area around the Yeovil area please do check out the Henstridge Park Run. A good alternative to Montacute, a little bit quieter, and I'd suggest there's a little less elevation. So if you do struggle with elevation for whatever reason, perhaps you have a bit of an injury or you just struggle with hills in general, if you don't want to push yourself or perhaps um, you want a slightly easier park run, do check out the Henstridge Park Run. Right, just a quick video for me for today. I'm looking forward to the Martok 10K run tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be a blog up for that on Monday. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Remember to like, share and subscribe. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.